play my game. I mean, it's not technically yours. You're just a fictional clone designed only to confuse the audience. You're not actually... Alright, I'll play your game. Morrowind is a busted up antiquated relic that I absolutely love. There is no fair, there is no balance, there is only really bad choices that work out in the long run. Morrowind is a game where buying Louis Vuitton clothing may have a better outcome than getting Daedric armor just because you belong to the 1%. Will you shut Who is up, your man? Listen? Who you are a former god, the Reverine, betrayed by three guys, a collective of gods that look over Morrowind. Why did they do it? You probably wouldn't let them open a restaurant because of outdated ideas like copyright and fair use. Also, you wouldn't share your wealth, which is made up of some of the most powerful weapons known to exist. So, they put you down for being part of the 1%. Another man, Dagoth Ur, was also betrayed by three guys and got food poisoning. He had such a bad time that he came out of it looking horribly deformed, but defied death. However, as punishment, he had a piece of pottery permanently stuck to his head and went mad. You wake in a musty, dusty, crusty ship with no identity or memory, and, worst of all, are forced to make an OC. There are multiple races you can be, each with their own individual stats ranging from the best to monks to Justin Bieber. You are then off to see and deliver a message to Caseus Casaldes, who is later fired for his crippling addiction to crack cocaine. He hires you as an Imperial Blade. All hail Ulfric Stormcloak, the from? true High King. You're sent to look at three cults, and the story is off. General gameplay is one of the most busted things I've ever seen. You either adapt or have a Daedric Prince do naughty, naughty things to your corpse. You can pay people to train you, so early on, even if the people you encounter can't train you very high, it's literally paying for stats with your hard-earned shekels you got from murdering multiple people. This also means you get free levels, so you can grind for two important stats at the same time, and if you do this correctly, you will level the skill with a linked stat like destruction, willpower, and intelligence. And now, for an unnecessarily long sponsored segment that is placed in the middle of the video and completely burns the pace for the remaining duration. Do you like pain? Do you like being horribly lost? Do you like the deep, dark, dank ruins of ancient societies? Would you like to learn the history of an ancient civilization that built God, then disappeared with no trace left behind except the ghosts of the Christmas past and their weird ass caves? Dwemer Ruins might be for you. Did you like the copy pasted hallways of Oblivion? Ah, Dwemer Ruins. Did you like the tedious hallways of Skyrim that were also copy pasted? I'm, I'm sorry, the company is what? The Dwemer Ruins can suit your every need, from not having enough confusion in your life make you feel bad for not being able to pronounce the names of the ruins like a normal city instead of Tamriel, to making you want to do literally anything else. Please, I'm begging you, buy our product and hopefully, oh, please buy our stock. Please, our company is going under soon and I have two kids and a wife and I- And that was our sponsored segment. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. This game gets really broken when you come to spells, potions, and enchantments. You can combine spells at your local mages guild and make some disgusting combinations. For example, my spell was paralyzing, poisoning, and making someone weak to poison in one spell. Enchantments have a similar effect, but you have to have a soul gem filled with a big enough soul, a weapon with enough enchantment slots, and a high enough agility stat to make it really worth your while. Alchemy is what really breaks this game though. I can make an inhuman amount of fortified intelligence potions, and because alchemy stacks off of intelligence, I can make any other potion out there and have an effect that could last for the next 10 hours. You can do this with any stat in the game that has a potion, and new potions stack off of your already existing potions, which means if you make more intelligence potions, you can have infinite intelligence for the next two years of your actual real life. Over the course of my games, I could not tell you how many potions I ingested, but between you and me, it was probably much more than I should have been able to normally. But I'm trying to figure out how we get them to have Pokemon go to the polls. Politics. 
Everybody's favorite subject, right? Morrowind is such a deep game that they even have internal politics built into the plot. Here's the rundown of all the five or six. Five or six? F fix. The Fix Great Houses. House Lalu are diplomats and businessmen who make friends with powerful governments like the Empire to make sweet, sweet septums. The Telvanni don't care about anyone but themselves and their precious slaves. The Telvanni don't conform to the Empire's outlandish laws like banning slavery or making murder illegal. In fact, if you kill somebody in Telvanni society and you had an argument with that person or an argument for the murder, the Telvanni court of law will automatically assume that your argument held more weight. Killing your superiors is also how you gain social status on Telvanni society so you can fight your way to the top of the Telvanni mage tower, kill the archmage, and assume his position and nobody will be none the wiser. Besides, it was his fault security was so low, and he was gonna have to pay for my dry cleaning bill anyways for getting my exquisite robes dirty. House Redoran are traditionalists who try to keep the settled Dunmer way of life and the way of the warrior alive. House Sadrus, following the Oblivion Crisis and the explosion of Red Mountain, replaced House Lalu as one of the Great Five Houses because Lalu are cowards. House Indorel are a group of religious freaks who fully supported three guys through their thousand year reign, even saying that their house was related by blood to the three guys members themselves. House Dress are farmers and plantation owners. And slave owners and traders who ran a slave trade meant mostly up of Argonia and Khajiit who were kept in cages around their plantations in Tear, a city to the southeastern end of Morrowind and then sold off to the other houses. But I don't think we need to talk about that. Five. This game is a fantastic alien world with so much to explore, I barely scratched the surface of what you can do and see. I highly recommend anyone to play it, despite its age sometimes showing through. And if you ever get bored with it, there's a plethora of mods to fill your time. I give it 4.5 abandoned civilizations out of 5. Now play Skyrim. No. Play my game. We went over this, it's not even your game. Yes it is. <sighs> God fucking...